What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a fun one. Today, we're using one of my favorite Pokemon in Sword and Shield ranked battles. That is going to be Togekiss alongside with a Weakness Policy Dialga and Kyogre Squad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. It really does go a long way. So shout out to all the subscribers. Shout out to all the subscribers. But you guys may realize that my voice is a little raspier. Yeah, I'm having a nice little sore throat kind of day. So if you hear me talking weird, that's why. That is definitely why. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only Regilecki. For the team preview right here, this Regilecki is rocking the transistor ability alongside with the life orb as item. So this Pokemon can actually be a menace in the Dynamax form. You guys already know Regilecki hits like a truck. Dynamax him with the life orb. He can be able to one tap so many different Pokemon. We got Protect, we got Hyper Beam, we got Rising Voltage, and last but not least, we gotta have that Speed Control move with e -Wed. Second Pokemon right next to him is going to be Kyogre, our first Restricted Mon with its Rizzle and the Mystic Water ability and item. We got Protect, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Thunder. Great move set for D Kyogre, really cannot go wrong with it. Middle left is Dialga over here, and Dialga is so good. It's a very bulky Pokemon and really good in Dynamax form, especially when, you know, its weakness policy gets proc. We got Telepathy, so, you know, ally Pokemon cannot hit us. We also got the weakness policy like I already mentioned item and we got draco meteor steel beam both for our stab moves and then we have two coverage moves with earth power and blizzard and i really like this moveset right just so much versatile when dynamax you got the draco meteor which will turn into the max warm wind give minus one physical attack you got the steel beam for the defense boost earth power for that uh special defense boost and then last but not least you got blizzard for weather control i absolutely love this pokemon dynamax hopefully we get to use it and show them to its fullest potential Middle right is going to be Gothitelle. Gothitelle is just here for a support build. It's got Shadow Tag alongside with the Focus Ash, and then it has Helping Hand, Fake Out, Trick Room, and Taunt. Like I said, just there for support and helping out our ally Pokemon. Bottom left hand corner is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's going to be Togekiss. We got Super Luck. We got the Raise Call as item and ability, so you know we're going to be critting left and right. And then we got Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, and Follow Me. So Togekiss right here is basically built to hit hard and be support mine at the same time. So that's why I always love this Pokemon. It can just be worked in two different ways, which is really, really good. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be the lovely little Landers. Landers with Intimidate and that Soul Fest cannot go wrong with it. We got Earthquake, Fly, Rock Tomb, and Payback, but I obviously would rather have Protect over Payback, but still it works for a nice little coverage move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Dialga, Kyogre, and Togekiss Series 12 team. Let's get rocking here in battle number one. We're going up against a double demon. Double is an absolute menace. We got to bring special attackers just to counteract that double because that thing has the cotton guard. It can bulk itself up on the defense board and it can be a pain to deal with. So we're not trying to deal with that. He has the Reg Ram, the Zacian, Gyarados, Rillaboom, and Grimmsnarl. So like I said, double is going to be a pain. Luckily, we have a few decent special attackers on the field. Actually, pretty much everybody's special attacking on our team. So it's going to work really, really well. But uh, how should we go into this one? How should we play? If Fake Out can come out from the... Uh, the Rillaboom, I might lead Regilecki and Dynamax right off the rip. Could be really good for us. Go Regilecki to Togekiss? I'm kind of with that. Did Togekiss bring uh, Kyogre and Dialga in the back end? I'm with it. I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys already know the deal. Before we even start our first battle, you guys got to let me know for question of the day. What was your favorite series of Pokemon Sword and Shield Rank Battles? Out of all the series, 1 to 12, which one was your favorite? I don't have like an exact one, but I want to say about like, from like the 3 to 6 range. I really enjoyed that one. I was always using some fun Pokemon. Really cool teams to test out a bunch of different stuff. I feel like once like Series 10 came and they added Restricted Mods, it's kind of been like the same old, same old. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just like the same old Pokemon every single time. Which is, which is, which is alright. Let me fix my microphone real quick. I'm trying to fix it up here. There we go. Money. Perfect. You guys can hear me loud and clear. I want a little over to the left. There we go. Now it's money. Now it is money, but let's go here. And uh, he goes with Zassian and Grimstarl, and I'm thinking of just Dynamax, or I could e for Speed Control. What do I want to do here? I'm actually going to Dynamax, and I'm going to go for a Max Lightning. This one does more. This one does more. Max Lightning could come out here. This one does more. I'm going to go for a Max Lightning into Zassian, and at this case, we're just going to protect. Oh, no, we do not have protect. Actually, we're just going to Helping Hand. We're just going to Helping Hand here. Why do I think we had to protect? And we're going to hope that Regilecki can take out Zacian in one shot. That could be gorgeous. Because we know Regilecki is going to be faster than Zacian. And Zacian is probably coming in with a Behemoth Blade. So if I can actually take out the Zacian in one shot and not allow it to actually hit up on my... What's it called? On my Tokus? We can be thriving. We can really be thriving. So, life for Regilecki getting that Dynamax with a helping hand. Ready to roll. 
We're hoping we can pick up some big time KOs. Let's see what this dude's rock with. Hopefully he's going for a fake out with Grimstrong. We'll see. Hoping he hand pokes through here. Yeah, eat. Give it the 1.3 times multiplier. And Grimstrong is going to set up the lane screen. That's going to that's gonna do us dirty. That is definitely going to do us dirty. I think we were going to be able to pick up the KO. But due to light screen now, that might do us dirty. Unless we get a crit. Crit would be gorgeous. Yeah, light screen just did us dirty, dude. Light screen just did us dirty. So um, he's going to be able to take out what's called no problem here. He's going to be able to take out my Tokus no problem with this Behemoth Blade. Unless he's going after Reggie. No, he's going to go after uh, Tokus here. And yeah, that's going to take it out no problem. That's fine. I'd rather him hit Tokus than the Reggie. It would have taken out either. So Tokus drops out. Man, dude, that's whack. God dang, light screen doing me dirty. Light screen definitely doing me dirty. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I could bring out Kyogre. Kyogre wouldn't be bad. Kyogre would not be bad. It would not be a bad Pokemon. And I'm thinking I'm just going into uh, Kyogre here. I might protect. I could definitely protect. I could definitely protect. But you know what? I'm going to go into a uh, a max strike. Deal up some damage onto uh, the Grimstar. I'll slow them both down and then uh, have my what's called be able to... Uh, Drop a nice big old water spout. I just want to check his speech first. 118. Yes. Ooh. 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 That's close. That's close. That is going to be close. I don't know if uh, we're going to be able to outspeed Zass in here. But I'm just going to drop an Origin Pulse just in case we don't outspeed it. Because it's not going to be able to kill me at all. Zass going to protect. That's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. That's totally fine. He's going to go for a scary face. He's going to slow me down. You son of a biscuit. Son of a bitch, he's gonna slow down my lovely little Kyogre. And I could swap him next turn if I really want to. Max Strike's gonna fire. And we're gonna say bye bye to uh, Grimstrong after his Origin Pulse pokes through. After his lovely little Origin Pulse pokes through. Good thing we do get the minus one on the speed board. But I could swap my, uh. Could definitely swap my, uh. My Kyogre if I want to. But I think we're fine here. I do think we're fine. Origin Pulse is gonna come through here. It's gonna connect on the Grimstrong. And like I said, it should just be able to take this thing out of no problem. Get it out of my face. We're not dealing with it. Get it out of here. Grimstrong, go home. Bruh, light screen doing me so dirty. Light screen doing me so dirty. Light screen is doing me so dirty. Okay, uh, from here, definitely just gonna max lightning over onto you. I think I'm gonna swap my Kai over here. Getting the alga at this point. He's gonna witch all his ass in. That's totally fine. He's gonna go into the boom. Good call by him. Good call by him. He's gonna go into the boom. We're gonna swap into our Dialga. And we're gonna chip up a little bit of damage on the Yo, this match is looking kinda scary. This match is definitely looking kinda scary, but good thing we're going for a max lightning because it changes the terrain back so he does not have that grassy glide first turn priority. Which is really, really good for us. We're swapping our Kyogre. Bringing out Dialga. Lovely. But he still has Dynamax. He still has Dynamax. And I feel like MVP right now is 100% the what's it called. Is 100% the, uh, the Light Screen. Light Screen just helping this thing bulk out some shots. Max Lightning comes through here. Still doing a great amount of damage, yo. Regilecki. Loving you, dude. Loving you, Regilecki. And we have mean damage up on our line. But I don't know if he's going to Dynamax this Robin. Do not know. I do not know. But we're definitely still going to go for an e web here. We might be able to still outspeed this Robin. That would be really dope. We're going to go here and... uh, I don't want to drop a Draco Meteor. Steel Beam would be better. But Steel Beam wastes a turn for us. Or no, it doesn't. It will damage the user. Uh, I'm going to drop it. I think I'm going to drop a Steel Beam over there. Mm, no, you know what? We're going to try to connect the Blizzard. That's my play. My safe play. Scary Face can come through here. He's going to slow down my Pokemon a little bit more. Son of a biscuit. Leave my Pokemon alone. He's slowing down my Reggie. Leave my Reggie like you alone. Blizzard can come through here. Oh, and it connects first. I love it. Big old connection. And we pick up a huge double kill. Huge double kill. You got to love it. You got to love it. Okay, so we take out two of his Pokemon. We have his Zacian on legit, like, one HP. And then he's going to bring out his ex-Pokemon and Dynamax. So I wonder who it's going to be. I am wondering. Probably the Regiram, right? It's got to be the Regi. It's got to be the Regi. Yep, it's going to be the Regiram. And we're hopping, and we're getting after him. Here comes the battle. Down to the wire right here. Um, I think he might protect Zacian here. Well, you know, he's probably going to go for a heavy shot here. This one's going to be tough. This one is definitely going to be tough. Definitely gonna be tough. We wanna go for an E-Web all day. E-Web is definitely our best play. Just take out the Zassian. And then uh, if we can't get off a Draco Meteor, I would absolutely love it. I would love it. But there's a Dynamax. We knew it was coming from a mile away. We're just hoping that we can actually bulk out some turns. We still have Kai Ogre in the back end. 
which is really good for us. But I am curious. To see how this one's gonna play out here. I am very curious. Because he still has a light tree. Kinda just waiting out that light tree. I'm guessing he has light clay on it. I didn't even check the terms. It has to be like actually no, it might not be. There's a rain still going. Sacred Sword's gonna fly through here. If you can eat that, that'll be gorgeous. Oh dude, that's lovely. That is gorgeous. We have weakness policy. And if Diablo can get off a shot, oh my lord, we can be sitting in such a good spot. Draco Meteor comes out. Woo! Big old damage. Big old damage. I actually thought it was gonna do a little bit more than that. But still, that's fine. This thing's gonna go and go for a quick. Okay. Mmm. That's tough news. That is tough news due to that special defense boost. Special defense boost doing us dirty. Okay, uh. Mm. What is the play here? What is the play, dude? I cannot protect the uh I cannot protect the what's going on. Oh yo, I swear if the rain ends, I'm gonna cry a little bit. I think the rain's gonna end. Don't tell me the rain ends. I need the rain! I need it! Okay, cool. We have one more turn left in rain. One more turn left in rain, and how many turns left in light train? Dude, light train did us so dirty this game. Did us so dirty this game. But from, me, from here, we obviously have to go into an origin pulse. 100% our play, and we're gonna go into obviously another trick of meter. Try to chip up some damage here. Let's see how this one's gonna play. It's gonna be tough. Protection come out from Zassian. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. I really am. Jacob Meter's gonna fly through here. And yo, can you outspeed him, Kyogre, and pick up the KO? That would be gorgeous. That would be a lovely little sight. No, Flare's gonna come through here, and that's gonna kick out my Diablo. That's fine. That's honestly fine, because I feel like Kyogre can win a 1v1. Oh, but this thing's gonna be able to eat now, because the heat, dude. Dude, this game's doing me real dirty. This game's doing me real dirty. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. Origin Pulse comes through here. It's gonna get blocked. We're gonna hit up on the Red Ram. How much damage are we gonna do to it? Crit it, get something good. No, I don't even think we were killing it regardless. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna protect. Waste out these turns. He's obviously gonna go for the Quake. Rough, dude. This is real rough. What a first battle, though. We're gonna protect here. We're gonna block this Assy move, and we're gonna take damage. Just a little bit from probably this Max Quake, right? Take a sword, comes through it. Block. And then the Quake, right? If I had to guess. Yeah, he goes for the Quake. Wow, dude. What a battle. He's gonna end up taking, taking this one all day. He's gonna end up taking this one all day. All day long. Unless. Unless. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to connect some thunders. Actually, I think an origin pulse should be able to take out that uh that Zassian, right? I don't know. He's plus two on special defense. Light screen up. Yeah, no. In the heat. We're gonna have to go for thunders. We're gonna have to look for the KOs here. This is rough. This is real rough. I know we outspeed the Regime, right? But Zassian's faster than us. We eat up the Sacred Sword all day, right? Sacred Sword we eat up. Oh no, that thing outspeeds us now. That's tough. Earth Power's gonna fly through here. It's GG's, right? That's looking ugly. Thunder's gonna poke here. This should be able to take him out. If not, then then I'm just stupid. Oh yeah, we get rid of the Zassian, but dude, no! How are we gonna lose this one? That's tough. What you mean, dude? Oh, Light Screen does wear off, but yeah, it's pretty much over. It's pretty much over. How many turns left in Heat? Two, yeah, Protect would do nothing. A Protect would do nothing. Go for the Origin Pulse, but yeah, this thing's just gonna connect in Earth Power. It's gonna be GG's, right? Yep, there it is. G to the G's. Wow, what a first battle. Not too bad. Came down to the wire. We start off 0-1, but we can hop through a second. Look for our first victory for today's video. Time to grab ourselves our first victory for today's video. Going up against a Kyogre and your belt team with Lightning Rod Raichu. Tornadus over here. Then he's got Reggie Draco and Persian. Or I should say, is this a low one Persian, right? Or is that Galarian? I think it's Galarian, right? Yeah, Galarian Persian. Is it Galarian? Or is it a low one? That one's a low one. Yeah, that one's a low one for sure. For sure. Okay, we got our regionals mixed up for a second. But we're thriving. I don't even think there's a Galarian one. Yeah, no. There's just a G-Max Meow that I remember all day long. <laughs> that I remember all day long. But how should we play this one? How should we go into it? We have to watch out for that uh, that Raichu with the Lightning Rod. So Reggie Lucky might not even come in here. He has a Reggie Draco, which is kind of scary. Um, hmm. Who do I want to play here? Could pop a Trick Room. Actually, does this thing have Trick Room? I don't think it does. It might, actually. I think it does. Yeah, we could pop a trick room. No, kind of liking that. We're gonna go Goth and Tell here. Alongside with Dialga. Go Dialga. Or we can go Kyogre. Bum, bum, bum. You know what? We're gonna go Dialga. Then we're gonna bring Kyogre in the back and Lando. I'm with it all day. I am with it all day. Because I think he's gonna lead a Pokemon such as like 
Raichu or like Tornadus and try to get Speed Control. So if we can like force him into going for Speed Control, we can pop a Trick Room and take Speed Control no problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. But yo, I stay hydrated, looking for this victory. Let's get after it. And let's see who he leads. He's gonna go Reggie Draco alongside with Yvelto. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So no fake out on the field. He cannot swap. Um go Trick Room and Dynamax. I'm thinking of doing that. I'm thinking of Trick Room and Dynamax. Good fake out here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go Trick Room. I cannot protect, but I'm gonna go into a Dynamax and Wait, take out him? Does he have any fairy Pokemon in the back end? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Let me check his Pokemon. No, we're thriving. We can go into a Wormwind for free. For free. But do I go into a Wormwind? Or do I go into a Hailstorm? Hailstorm could be nice, but yeah, Wormwind's gonna be a bit better. Wormwind, it is stab. To do some big old damage onto him. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. And they cannot swap. They cannot swap. Because it's a shadow attack. It's gorgeous. He's gonna dynamax your belt here, right? Absolute must for him. He's gonna dynamax your belt. He's gonna get rolling out from there. He's gonna get rolling out from there. Oh no, it's not. Okay, that's even better. That's even better because we're going for a move. I love it. So he's gonna dynamax Reggie Draco here. I love it. I love it. Reggie Draco with the dynamax. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Dynamax Reggie Draco. Maybe like once. Before. Maybe like once, but like you guys know, we never seen that. We have never seen that. But we're gonna Dynamax with Dialga here. I wish I did have like Protect on Dialga because I would have protected that turn. Pop the Trick Room and then Dynamax, but it'd be like that. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. But Dialga's gonna come out here with a Dynamax. He's gonna go probably first and second. Dark Pulse gonna fly through here. We eat that. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. A lot more damage than I thought it would. He's gonna double that. He's gonna worm win. Go into Goth Failure. Oh, he's gonna double down in the Alga. Wow. Bowsers. Do we think a Sucker Punch could take me out? I don't know. I do not know if it can. Oh, worm win's gonna poke here. Should be able to take this thing out, right? Pretty close. Pretty close, and now I do not know what to do. Now I do not know what to do. I think we're gonna try to take out the Yvelta. Do we think Sucker Punch could take me out? I do not like that one bit. Do we think Sucker Punch can take me out? Sucker Punch could be rough here. Sucker Punch could definitely be rough. My only option here is to go into Helping Hand. We're gonna go Helping Hand and we're gonna have to go for this. Hailstorm. We're trying to rip into it. Can we eat up a Sucker Punch? That's the real question. Well, hopefully that thing is just not even going for Sucker Punch. I would love to get off this, uh, this Hailstorm before my Diago drops out. That would be a huge turn for us. That would be wonderful. Cause then I could just bring out Kyogre and pretty much uh, take out the Reggie Draco, do some big damage all around. I'm liking it. I am liking it. But again, I need to get off this Hailstorm. I need to get off this Hailstorm. Helping Hand comes out here. Please, no Sucker Punch. Please leave me alone. He's gonna guard. Ooh! We like that. We like that. We like that! Hailstorm's flying through here. Yes, sir. Right into Yvelta. Take this thing out. Get it out of my face. I'm not dealing with it. Let's go. That's huge, big time KO there. Especially because he guarded there. Especially because he guarded. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We love it. We love it. We love it. Gothel's going to take a little bit of buffets. There goes his focus ash, but hey, it's all good. It is all good. We're going to take some damage from that, and Reggie Draco's going to take a little bit of damage as well. So I don't know if I should worry about the Reggie Draco. I don't think I am because that Pokemon is rather fast. And just having the buffets chip away damage onto it, I kind of just want to like, leave it alone and just focus on the Pokemon on its right side. It's going to be you. Okay. I'm cool with that. And from here, you know what? Okay, I could taunt. I could taunt. I'm gonna go into a hailstorm. Gee, does it even matter? He has no first turn priority. What do I do? I could swap Goth Tell here. Do I really want to? No, we're gonna leave Goth Tell here. Helping hand again. Give me no reason not to. The chick gives me no reason not to. No reason not to helping hand and just keep dumping on this Pokemon. I was gonna try to make like a cool play and swap out, but again, like we're sitting in the driver's seat with this trick room up. I was gonna take full advantage of it. Hell seems gonna fly through here. This thing's probably focus ash, right? It's not, yo. That's that's lovely. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We get rid of that Pokemon, no problem. And he's gonna take out my Dialga? Maybe? Hopefully not. Oh my god, dude, thank you for not taking out my Dialga. 
Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. That works perfectly for us. He's going to drop our attack, even though we're special attacking. We're sitting in such a good spot. Such a good spot. Buff is going to fly through here. We're down to 34 HP. He's a little bit lower than us. And one more buff it, I think we'll take him out. But at this point, I'm going to bring out... Can I bring out Lando? He was slower. Let me see some speed, actually. 129, 118. I want to bring out Lando, but it's just like at the same time, I don't want to. I just feel like bringing out Kyogre here can uh, do us good with origin pulses. And we change up weather a little bit, so... Let's see what he goes into. Kyogre of his own. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. Definitely cool. Okay, how should my play play here? Origin pulse, steel beam. Sounds really good. Because Reggie Draco is definitely gonna be fast on the field. No doubt, my mind. Reggie Draco is fast on the field. We have to drop this origin pulse just to take out the Reggie Draco, and then from here, I could go Draco meteor or steel beam. I think I'm gonna go steel beam and just KO my own self. Nah, Draco meteor is gonna be your play. Draco Meteor's are play. So yeah, we're gonna Draco Meteor across here. He's gonna protect Reggie Draco. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Origin Pulse gonna fly. We're chipping up some damage onto uh, Kyogre. And I'm actually curious. Is his Kyogre gonna go next? Because that, that would be a little upsetting. Yo, that did some good damage. That did some gorgeous damage. It's a crit, that's why. All right, Diago, go next. Diago does go next. GG's. That is GG's. Your boy's gonna be able to pick up his first victory. Because that should be able to KO, no problem, right? It does. Get him out my face. Get him out my face. There it is, yo. Tricker Master thinks still has like one more turn left in it. No, we're sitting pretty. We're sitting so pretty. But I feel like our opponent here definitely tried like keeping his Reggie Draco in for way too long and it kind of just ended up hurting him because he ended up guarding multiple times when we weren't even attacking him. Which is pretty funny, but still, we take him out. That's going to be one and one for today's video. He's going to try to. Pr he protects again, yo. What is this? What is this? This dude's just playing with us. He's just playing with us. He's just playing with us. I mean, maybe he thought it was like a last-ditch effort because Trickram should end, right? Oh, wow. Steel. Oh, wow. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. He's, he's giving himself a shot here. Hold up. Hold up, yo. If we lose this battle, I'm going to cry just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. This thing's on 1 HP, so I'd rather go for like a water spout over... uh. Origin Pulse because, you know, it has way higher accuracy. Then from here, EQ can just fly. Let's just send an EQ. All we need is one shot. All we need is one shot. This thing's going to go for a Dragon Pulse. Okay, yeah, my, I thought maybe it was sending like a double hitting move. We're going to be able to eat that up regardless. Look at that. Tastiest snack you ever saw. Earthquake's going to fly through here. There it is. Now it's GG's. This guy started fighting for a little bit. It was scaring me, but one on one for today's video. Let's hop into a third. Look for a winning record. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's winning record time. We're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calder team, alongside with Thunderous, Landorus, and then Wimscott and Ferrothorn. Okay, how am I playing this one? What am I doing here? I'm trying to think here. I kind of want to get Tokus in here. Tokus could definitely be a lot of fun. So you know what? I might lead Togi. Do I lead a Togi Wogi? Could definitely lead a Togi Wogi. I could definitely do that. Where's my play? I kind of want to go Trick Room again. Trick Room just thriving. We're going to go Trick Room here. We're gonna go Togekiss, or do I even lead Togekiss? So I, I might just go with the Alga Dynamax. I'm liking that a lot. The Alga Dynamax? Woo! Sounds beautiful. The Kyogre and Togi Wogi? Run it. Run it up. Run this battle up. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a winning record. Yeah, Trick Room is an absolute master. He has a lot of super fast Pokemon like the Zacian, the Thunderous, the Landorus. They're all fast. He has a Whipscott for Tailwind, alongside with the Shadow Rack. So, Trick Room's an absolute must for us. If I have to go into Follow Me, I will. But I think he's gonna just lead, like, the. Uh, I think he might lead the uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex alongside with Zazie, because that could be scary. That could definitely be scary. Let's just see what he does. Let's see what my boy does. He has 10 seconds to pick. He's struggling out here. We, we're in his head already. We're in this dude's head. Nah, I'm kidding. He, he just picked. But uh, I think Wimscott's going to come out here. Wimscott, maybe Shadow Rider Calyrex for the lead. Could definitely be an option. He does have a lot of options to kind of go with, so I don't want to assume that. I do not just want to start assuming that. That's usually how you lead is when you like over predict like who, who your opponent is leading. You can really bite yourself. You can really bite yourself. If you get Thunderous and Sassy, I'm kinda cool. I'm kinda cool with that. Kinda cool with that. I'm gonna Dynamax, I'm gonna go for a warm one, and we're gonna get ripping. It's up play all day. Good fake out. But now nah, I'm just gonna pop a trick in turn one. And like I said, I'm Dynamaxing. 
And I'm going to Wormwind over onto the Stunners. Just get that minus one onto the Zacian. And kind of go from there. I'm liking that. I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. I'm definitely digging it. The old Dialga Dynamo is actually phenomenal. Like I said, this moveset, it's, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. But the problem here is going to be this. This is what I was just about to say. This is going to be the problem. If he died, Max. Because now he's going to get the fire and boost it. But still, it's, we should be uh, thriving here. Because he's going to go first. We're going to go second. Then we're going to defy and boost him. Then Trickham's going to poke. And then we're going to uh, be able to get off another shot. I'm kind of with this. I'm, I'm kind of I'm with this. I can help hand next shot. Go super effective shots. Kind of roll off from there. And I might just go for a defensive boost next turn. We shall see. That probably would have been my play over the warm one. Would have probably been to go for the steel spike. I should have went for a steel spike. Boost our stats instead of lower, lowering his. So Defiant doesn't proc. That one's on me. Definitely play should have been into the steel spike. 1,000%. 1,000%. Let's see how someone plays out here. Sacred Sword's going to fight through here. He's proc a policy. We love it. We love it. We love it. He gets a crit, dude. Come on, yo. Game's whack. Game is super whack. Game is super whack. Can you go for darkness? Can you go after Gotham Tell, please? I think that is. Yep. Gonna go after Gotham Tell. He's gonna proc. Oh, I was gonna say proc or sash, but that up all day. This is just a lovely little turn for us. A gorgeous little turn for us. Gorgeous little turn. He's gonna drop our special defense, but I'm, I'm fine with it. Woman's gonna fly here. It's gonna do some big old damage. It's policy proc. Look at that, yo. Take out his Dynamax mod, and more importantly, get that minus one onto the Zacian. And now we have Trick Room out and about. We gonna be thriving. We are gonna be thriving. Now I can legit just like help a hand, kind of go from there, and thrive out this battle. Oh, dude, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Gaines is loving it. Trick him out and about, baby. You love to see it. You love to see it, baby. You love to see it. Okay, so Zazine's chilling here. He's a little bit of a problem, but he's minus one. He's gonna go into Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is such a pain, dude. Ferrothorn is such a pain. But from here, I'm just gonna go helping hand. And do I just warm one into that? Like a quake. What do I want to do? He might protect that. What's it called? I'm going to take out Zassian. This is tough. This is super tough because I do not like that what's going one bit. I see my protect. I do not like that Ferrothorn one bit. I'm going to I'm gonna try to get some damage off on this Ferrothorn. That's my protect. Up again, it comes out here. Zassian does not protect it. I'm not really too worried about Zassian too much. He does protect. Yo, that's huge. That is huge. That is huge for us. That is huge for us. He's gonna, oh, he outspeeds me. Eat this. Oh, I love you, Dialga. I love you. Can you take this Pokemon out? I forgot. I forgot that Ferrothorn was like negative one speed. <laughs> We're weak to Spiles Brock. Big old damage coming out here. And Ferrothorn is gone, dude. Ferrothorn's gone. That's gonna be the battle, yo. The Ferrothorn was like the only Pokemon chilling there. Now I was just like, okay, that's kind of scaring me. But luckily, we were able to circle that body press and roll out the battle for me. Love it, love it, love it. Because now Zassian can't protect. He's going to show his last Pokemon. It's got to be the Calyrex, right? Calyrex comes out here. And Trick Room is just thriving. Trick Room is just thriving. Trick Room is just thriving, dude. We're all about it. We're all about it. But not going to lie, Calyrex is scary. There's a little scary mod. We can just go into this helping hand. And then from here, we're just going to drop another Quake. Drop another Quake into Zassian. Because Zassian can't protect. I mean, it can, but it's going to have to get super lucky. But I doubt he even presses it. It's probably going to go into, like, a Sacred Sword. Into a, uh... Actual barrage. But Zassian should be dead here. Max Quake's gonna fly through it with this policy's proc. We are killing it. We are killing it. We are killing it. Zassian, get on out my game. Get on out my rank battle. We dump on that Pokemon. He's gonna have Shadow Rider Calyrex, Calyrex left. And I think he just goes into obviously an actual barrage and picks up the easy double kill. The easy, easy double kill. Easy double kill. But the best part about this is we have two turns left in uh Trick Room. Well, we should have two turns left in Trick Room. Which means he can't just protect and then just dump on my Pokemon. Unless it, if it's one turn left in Trick Room, we might lose this battle. Because the problem here is going to be, uh, he's plus two now. If he gets off one Astral Barrage, we could be sitting in maybe like one of the worst spots ever. But again, I think it should be two turns left in Trick Room. Because we popped the Trick Room after our first turn to Dynamax. We were just still Dynamax there. So yeah, it should be two turns left in Trick Room. We have our Togekiss coming out here. We alongside have our, uh, our lovely little Kyogre. And we just have to double down into this thing. Because it could definitely be Focus Ash. Could definitely be Focus Ash. But yeah, from here, we're just going to go for the Water Spout. And then into the Gleam or Air Slash. 
higher higher uh, accuracy. Let's see what he does here. He doesn't even protect. Gleam's gonna come out here. Built. Chip up enough damage, and then obviously the water spell should come out here and say GG's. Yep, there it is. Let's go. Let's go. Your boy does it again. Loses his first battle, but digs himself out of the hole by going back to back in second and third battle, grabbing ourselves a winning record. Let's get it, ladies. Go ahead, guys. Chalk this video up as another winning record for another jeans video. Let's get it. We went 2 1 for today's video. Got to dominate and show off this whole team to its fullest potential. First battle, we got the Dynamax Regilecki. Get things rolling from there, but ended up losing the battle by a couple of HP. Really, really close battle in battle number one, but battle number two, we definitely showed up. We came to play. We got that Dialga and got the Tell Combo in there. Popped the Trick Room, got the Dialga in the Dynamax form, and just steamrolled our opponents from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.